It's a wonderful commotion of EMD 16645 action here on the Salco lead as part of CSX's East Rail Switching District. I had arrived here at 59th Street just attached the very end of CSX 0717 to work at Salco, which receives full salts by rail on boxcars from a manufacturing facility in New York. guys notice something different about the track here? Recently RTA's contractors had recently replaced and repaired the track leading to Salco, which is a very positive sign as far as the longevity of rail service here. Blocking is very peculiar on CSX 0717-26. Starting with an empty Salco boxcar, perhaps acting as a buffer to the hypochlorite cars, empties up to this SPLX car, which is actually a load, followed by a few more loads for Sentry Industries, and then the empties that they had just pulled from Salco. My guess is that an outlawed yard job for Eastra was sitting around somewhere around here, and those cars are being placed next to today's work, which is also at an unusual time because normally this area is working in the wee hours of the morning. And contrary to my previous chasing experiences on East Rail, Salco was worked before Sentry. Normally, it is done the other way around. <laughs> and we are at a local eatery made famous by Lance Minheim in his Voodoo and Palmetto's blog, COD Seafood, where one of the employees parked just a little too close for comfort for the train's crew. I would think they can clear that vehicle, but, you know, it's better safe than sorry. Sentry Industries is a distributor of sodium hypochlorite solution, better known as bleach. The disinfectant is used for many industrial applications, including in pools. We are located at the orange pin on the map, and the train is going to be working where the blue pin labeled Sentry Industries is at the tail end of the spur. Sentry Industries is probably the busiest customer on CSX's East Rail area in terms of volume, receiving many loads of hypochlorite and other byproducts each time. I've seen it quite a few times being switched, including this shot here on June 3rd, 2020, during the height of the COVID pandemic. It was a really neat treat to see the YN2 Jeep leading, reminiscing of days gone by in CSX's Miami Rail scene. Unfortunately, the view wouldn't be this picturesque because the train was coupling onto the empty cars, leading to a very unattractive view there at 58th Street. So we'll settle back here at Douglas Road. And in addition to that, hypochlorite is a very sensitive load and this train is sometimes supervised by folks that probably would not want to see a camera pointed at the train.
0717 has hooked up to the empties and presumably will be switching the cars around so that the released cars are heading out and if any unreleased cars are in this cut, I don't know if there were or not to be honest, those will probably be re-spotted for the red center. recollection of this move is that the outgoing cars are going to be placed on the nearest of the two tracks so that the loads and whatever remaining cars were unreleased can be placed on the far track. Remember that the consist is blocked in a way that there are empties, loads, and then empties. Very unusual for East Girl and probably drawing the ire of drivers on 37th Avenue. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> The view may be tight, but at least we have the sound of the E&D Prime Movers on CSXT 6088 to keep us entertained. By this point off camera, the loads for Sentry should have been spotted on the far track. 0717 is now about to recouple to all the empties, getting ready to proceed outwards.
East Rails Core has four active customers, the two that you saw in this video, Suburban Propane in the background of this shot, and Pan American Paper near 46th Street, which I did catch back in 2018. And as you can see, the train is about done with Sentry and heading off for lunch, and I'm going to be heading home. Hope you guys have enjoyed this switching video over at CSX's famed East Rail Switching District. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and if you want to see more of it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I look forward to sharing a lot more of this with you in the coming days. From Hylia, Florida, at 37th Avenue near COD Seafood, thanks for watching. This is TE, out.